What's up, what's up, what's up, guys? I am Rachel Photon. Welcome, welcome back. I'm so happy to be here with you all today. In this reading, you all, we're gonna see what the universe wants you to know. With that being said, lay do it. Let's see. What does the universe want you to know? All right, y'all, so it looks like someone in your situation may be afraid of some sort of commitment of some sort or scared of commitment, all right? Some of you all, you could be dealing with someone or a group of people or individuals who are trying to make you fear doing something or committing to something, okay, or to continuing moving forward with um, some sort of plans that you may have some sort of goals that you may have or something that you may have been doing. You could be dealing with somebody who is not being 100% loyal or who is not 100% um, reliable, okay? This individual may be nervous about you or about um, fully investing in you or investing in a situation with you, all right? Um, this could have been something that may have occurred in the uh, recent past, okay? Um, I do see some of you all, this person may have changed their mind. In the past, they may have thought that you were not reliable or that you were not worth um, investing more in or committing to or um, going further with something, but they realize that you are perfect for a position or perfect for a situation of some sort. Or they have done something to fix the situation between you two, okay? Um, there's something that is redeeming a situation that did not go well. And now it's going in the right direction or it's going in the right path. It's working well. It's doing what, it's ne what it needs to do. Um, for some of you all, you may have realized that you may not have wanted to deal with someone because they weren't. They couldn't see the truth in a situation or they weren't able to know whether or not you were really for them or whether you were against them. And you may be happy about this situation because something may have occurred or you may have seen something or noticed something or became aware of something before you made any major choices or decisions or moves in a situation that might not have ended up in your favor. Okay, but there's definitely something that is um, being redeemed in this situation. Some of you all, what this is, is you could have been nervous about dealing with someone, investing in someone, working with someone, and they could be trying to find a way to fix the situation, to show you that they are worthy, to show you that they are uh, worth your time, your efforts, your energies, worth you committing to them, worth you being loyal to them. All right, some of you all are just nervous about um, giving your all into a situation or uh, going above and beyond for someone because maybe you have been let down in your past. Maybe people said that they would be there for you or that they would do for you or you could have thought that they were loyal and they weren't. All right. Um, this may have something to do with maybe you could be trying to hire someone to do a job of some sort. Or you could be wanting someone to work for you. Or this could be somebody you're trying to work with or deal with. This may be a relationship situation. Whether that be romantic or um, just an average relationship. Okay. But you could be getting together with someone to have fun. Okay. Or you could be nervous about getting together with somebody to have fun. To celebrate. So when you, you could be happy that a situation is going in the right it's it's now on the right direction the right path and you're no longer nervous or worried or bothered about something wow so for some of you all somebody could have been trying to make choices and decisions based off the movements of the planets or based off of the alignment of stars or the planets or something like that and this could be making this person make choices and decisions that are not 
actually look like correct or right, but they think it's right or they think it's correct. Um, they could have judged you based up based off of your zodiac sign. And they got the wrong idea about you. It's like somebody has some sort of idea about you that's false or it's wrong. You have been working in tune and in harmony with the universe. Some of you all may have been spending a lot of time outside recently. Um, you may have been taking time to garden, to work on your, whether that be um, actual physical gardening, or you could be working on your mental, your emotions. Uh, your behaviors, things of that sort, and gardening them, meaning um, you could be making sure that you're thinking the right thoughts, believing the right things, acting in the right ways, getting rid of things that don't help you, thoughts that don't help you, but ways of viewing reality that don't help you, okay? Kind of like how when you garden, you remove weeds, you remove plants that um, aren't going to be beneficial for the other plants that you're trying to grow, Okay, some of you all, that could be like, we. you could be gardening your life, right? Making sure that you're not around people who are going to suck from you, who are going to keep you from being able to succeed, who are going to keep you from being able to prosper. For some of you all, one of the reasons why this individual could have been scared to commit to you or commit to something that they said that they were going to do for you or involve themselves with you is because um, they either have negative influences around them or they were influenced to do something or they just weren't ready or they could have thought that you were their enemy or they could have thought that you were against them okay you have the plant card somebody could think that you're a plant of some sort like, like you aren't really for them or like you were put into the situation to trick them, to lead them astray, to scheme and scam them. They could be realizing that their ideas about you were false. They were not correct. They were not legit. You could have been getting rid of individuals who don't believe in you, who don't trust you, who don't value you, who don't see where you're coming from, who are really just draining energy, who are wasting your time and efforts, who aren't really able to get with the program, who can't see the truth for what it really is. Some of you all, somebody was sent into your situation to try to mess things up for you or to try to lead you astray or try to trick you or to try to make you self-sabotage somehow or to make you manifest things that aren't in your favor or that are not for your highest good. Someone is real slick with whatever they're doing. But you were able to see the truth for what it was. You could have realized you were being loyal to somebody who you shouldn't have been loyal to. Because they never had loyalty in their mind when it comes with you, to you. They're hoping for something to make the situation right though, okay? Because maybe they realize that they shouldn't have acted that way with you or they shouldn't have treated you that way or talked to you that way or something like that. Someone could have realized that they don't want to be your enemy or they're, you're not the enemy. If they were going against you or trying to battle you, they're realizing that that was the wrong choice, the wrong decision, the wrong move to make. Now they just want to be friends. They want to be cool. They realize how divinely protected you are. They're trying to figure out a way to make the situation right. They could be blaming stuff on the planets, the stars, the positions of the... <laughs> <laughs> astrology y'all what wow
okay? You have thousands of ancestors who support you. So like I said, it's almost like for some of y'all, somebody, for whatever reason, they had got a hair up their ass, okay? And they thought that you were their enemy or that you were against them, possibly because you were saying things that they didn't like you to say or you were doing things that they didn't like for you to do, but they had the wrong idea about you. You actually genuinely had their true and best interest at heart. You really did care for them. You weren't trying to scheme them, scam them, trick them. And it is what it is. So they made you their enemy, basically, and uh, your ancestors weren't having it. So um, your ancestors are protecting you and supporting you along this journey. They could have tried to manifest negative realities for you. Or like I said, they could have tried to get you to self-sabotage or manifest negative realities for yourself they could have tried to work some sort of spells on you because they thought that you were their enemy and they're realizing that they should have never done that to you and they they may know that you realized what the deal was or what was going on and you protected yourself accordingly in the situation and again, like I said, now they could be wishing that they never did that to you or they never acted that way with you or they never treated you that way, said those types of things about you or something like that. They see you as valuable now. They see you as worthy now. Wow. They see what your true intentions were. That you were just trying to help them. You were just trying to look out for them. You were just trying to tell them the truth. They're used to people lying to them. They're used to people speaking sweet nothings in their ear. They're used to people confusing them, scamming them, scheming them, tricking them to the point to where they think that that shit is real, what those people are doing, um, or that they think fake love is real love and that real love is fake love. But they try, try to come at you like as if you were the one that was wrong in the situation or as if you were not right. And they're realizing that you were just trying to look out for them. You were just trying to help them. You were just trying to save them. For some of you all, you're trying to make sure that your resources are stocked up, that you got your situation straight, that you're saving your money, that you're able to deal with whatever comes next in this situation. You may have even felt like you may have wasted certain resources on that individual or on that situation, trying to get them to wake up, trying to get them to see the truth of what's going on. You may have some sort of gift of some sort, okay? Some of you all, um, you have a very special gift or ability that some people may not know that you have. You may use that gift or ability to try to help people, to look out for them, to try to warn them about certain things, to try to show them certain stuff, and they be stuck in their own beliefs, opinions, thoughts, etc. And that's why they end up in the situations that they end up with. That's why they aren't able to really get people, you know, who really love them to be there for them because they turn the people that really loves them away from them. And then they try and because the the ones that really love them are trying to tell them what the truth is or show them what what's really up and they don't want to hear it. They don't want to see it. OK, and they think because of the things that you say, they automatically think, let's say you say similar stuff to the people that they don't that other people they don't like say they think you're saying it for the same reasons that these other people are saying it and you're not. OK. Some of y'all are dealing with people who you were trying to help them, you were trying to save them, and they don't want to be saved. Okay? That song, don't save her, she don't want to be saved, don't save her. I forget who sing that song, who rapped that song, okay? If I find it, I'll put it in the community tab. But like that song, you know, speaks to this situation. It's like somebody don't want to be saved they want to stay in a messed up situation because they believe that what they're believing is correct they they think you're wrong they think that you're some kind of person that was um that you're like working for some nefarious agenda or some other entities you have the plant card so somebody thinks you're you're a plant of some sort okay they think that you're not coming from a legit perspective or from a legit 
um, background or something like that. But you're just expressing more of your true power. You're coming more into your true power. Some of y'all, what it is, is this person, okay, um, they're only doing this to make people not listen to you or to make people think that you're wrong or there's something messed up about something that you're doing so that they won't come to you, so that they won't see you as worthy or valuable. They don't like the fact that you're expressing more of your true power, that you're utilizing more of your knowledge, your wisdom, uh, your gifts and abilities of some sort, and they're defiant against it, okay? They think that you are evil for some of y'all. They think that you are um, not righteous, and it's directly due to the fact that you're not doing exactly what they want you to do, so automatically they think you're evil. That's crazy. That's real crazy. You have been moving forward. You may have been learning more, studying more, gaining more information about something. Okay? Some of you all could be realizing that um, some of the people that you thought you wanted to be there for, you no longer want to be there for them. Because you're realizing that um, they either waste your time, your efforts, or your energy, or they act like they really want to be helped. They act like they want better in life, but they really don't. They actually engage in self-sabotaging behaviors. Okay, some of y'all, these people could have been secretly spying on you, trying to find out more information on you to try to use against you somehow. If you're very secretive or very um, private about your life, this could be one of the reasons why they think that you're a plant of some sort, okay? Like you're an op, you're an agent, or you're like somebody who is not really for them, somebody who could be undercover or something like that. That's crazy. But you know that the universe is affected by the things that you do. And you know that you're very important to uh, many people and that what you say holds weight, okay? And you've chosen to play your role with more presence and more power. You're choosing to not be quiet about certain things. You're choosing to speak the truth on things. You're choosing to use your gifts and your abilities to um, help in a situation of some sort. But there's going to be people who just, they don't see it that way. And it is what it is, okay? They refuse to embrace the truth. And some of them is because they have false views of reality. Some of them is directly due to some sort of like astrological information of some sort that they could be gaining. But it's not correct. Okay? That's wild. Meaning maybe they're watching readings. Maybe they're watching other readings or something like that. Maybe they watch other tarot readers, oracle readers, and they're not getting the right information or they're confused and conflicted in their own right because they're not understanding what the message is or what's being told to them. Or they're only accepting what they feel is the truth and not everything or, or something, y'all. Um, they feel like you're unconventional, um, that you don't do things the way that everybody else does. They think it's weird that you're private, that you like to keep to yourself, that you enjoy your own time, your own energy, okay? But they're realizing that they were wrong about you. Something has corrected them, okay? They're realizing that they were wrong about you. They should have never came at you like that. You could have blocked this person or established some sort of rules, boundaries, or agreements when dealing with them. Okay, you could have chose not to use your power, your energy for those who don't give a fuck about you or for those who want to stay stupid, stagnant, stuck. Who can't admit the truth. Who rather believe in lies, fantasies, falsities than to admit what the truth is. But then want to say somebody else is lying or somebody else is hiding or you faking, you fronting or whatever. You may be very sophisticated, okay? A lot of people may see you as very mysterious. They may not fully understand you or get why you do certain things, why you move the way you move. But it looks like you've been really starting to learn more of what your true power is or what you're truly meant to do in this world. And you could have been breaking some sort of old habits that you used to be engaged in. 
okay part of that is probably not speaking your truth and allowing people to disrespect you you're no longer allowing certain individuals to disrespect you or to make you be quiet and hush up and make you feel like you can't be who you were really meant to be or like you can't say what you really want to say type of thing and because you're not allowing disrespect because you're standing in your truth and your power um and because you're continuing to move forward regardless a lot of people are very happy with this um they're very enamored with you or very inspired by you they feel like they can be their true selves with you they feel like you're actually legit you're actually real you're actually one of the only people that can understand where they're really coming from or how they really think or how they really feel about certain situations there may be somebody else who you may feel like you can be your true self with them you feel emotionally stable with them you don't feel like you always gotta um battle or fight or have conflict chaos or like you you can't just speak what you really want to speak without offending somebody or without them trying to call you names talk crazy to you treat you like you stupid or you dumb you may have found the right individual or the right people or the right group of some sort to um involve yourself with and this is something that you could have been researching on or looking into for a while to make sure that you are investing in the right situations, to make sure you're investing in the right people, people who aren't going to just switch the fuck up on you um, out of nowhere for no reason, then try to uh, make you feel some type of way. Mm-hmm. If y'all were scared of some sort of commitment, that's why, because you don't want to deal with people who are shady, who ain't right who it's obvious they got other ulterior motives to situations, right? You don't have any like hidden motives to things, but people may think that you do because you're not so um, expressive. And so when you start to express yourself more, it's like confusing to them because they don't really know you. They think they know you, but they don't really know you. And that's one of the reasons why you could be expressing more of who you really are or how you really feel about certain things so people can understand who the fuck you really are. But it's like with somebody, you had to draw a line in the sand with somebody and say, look, you ain't about to be disrespecting me and talking to me crazy and, and getting mad because I'm not doing everything what the fuck you want me to do. That's what you said to somebody or that's how you feel about somebody and that's why you made the choices and the decisions that you made recently um I, it looks like it's gonna bring about some sort of peace in a situation or somebody know again like i said somebody no longer wants to be your enemy because uh they, they they know um it, it ain't it ain't a good thing you you could have gained some sort of new ideas recently or this is what you were trying to express to certain individuals or certain people share something with them or tell them something or like i said you were actually trying to look out for them you were telling them the truth about something so that they won't get caught up in nonsense or 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 fabrications or whatever and they couldn't understand where you were coming from they thought because of their pre preconceived ideas or beliefs of what you're supposed to be doing that you're somehow um not legit you're an agent you're a liar you're you're a plant you're a screen you're a schemer or whatever the case may be um and throughout this process you have this you have been um creating a lot of love happiness and divine abundance you've been attracting your true tribe in a situation because you refuse to back down because you refuse to be quiet because you refuse to go along get along right and so if there are any kind of like blockages or any kind of issues in the situation they are being removed Whatever issues you were dealing with, you will no longer have to deal with whatever those issues are. Some of you all, that individual themselves were actually fraudulent. They were actually fake themselves. Okay? They were they actually had some sort of secret program of some sort as to why they were coming at you the way that they were coming at you. But they were not skilled enough to to accomplish whatever this goal was that they were trying to accomplish. Okay, you were able to overcome whatever this was. Like I said, somebody was trying to get you to self-sabotage somehow.
They maybe have wanted you to act a fool with them, cuss them out, act stupid with them so that they could try to find a way to get you in trouble or to, or to make people see you in a different way than they actually see you. Yep. They were trying to have you distracted, stuck on stupid, going above and beyond to try to prove something or explain something or express something to them. Okay? But you decided to move forward. There's something wrong with their culture. Okay? It's like they like they can't accept when people are different or when people think different or when people see things different than what they expect them to. You're being your authentic self. You know that ain't nobody got a perfect life. And so you're fine with maybe if you have flaws or maybe if you um, see reality or think differently than a lot of people, um, especially if you have some sort of divine gifts or abilities of some sort. Yeah, somebody was trying to pre-program you or fuck with your mind or something like that. But they were acting real slick about it. They were acting like um they were on some other shit or that they were they were really for you or whatever the fuck, but they were on they they were trying to fuck you up, y'all. Okay? Um it just is what it is. They could have been trying to turn your community against you or make your community hate you. But the way that you handled the situation was perfect. And see, now they're trying to figure out, like, how are you so unbothered? Why is this not getting to you? Why are they, Why is their plans not working? They could have sat and thought about it for a while, and then they could have just realized maybe they were the ones that's fucked up in the situation. For some of y'all, if this is just an average person, if this is not somebody with some sort of hidden secret program of some sort or working for your ops or your enemies or whatever um but i do see here that it's possible that there's a group of people or a person who has sat back and concocted some sort of scheme plan or something to try to hinder you to try to get you to self-sabotage to try to turn your community against you to try to make you look like a bad person when you're not to try to make you look like you're somebody that's fake and fraudulent when you're not. To try to keep people self-sabotaging who would actually be benefited from uh, the help that you have to give them or for from um, you looking out for them. It's because they know how powerful you are. You're extremely powerful. Whether that be spiritually, physically... Um, uh, financially, emotionally, whatever it is, something is being uncovered. Wow. They could have called you a puppet or said that you're a puppet of some sort. Somebody is realizing that you're not a puppet. Okay. It's because of some sort of preconceived idea that they have about people like you. They automatically believe that people like you are puppets um, they're not real. They're not genuine. They're doing things for fake and fraudulent reasons. They have some sort of secret programs they're working, hidden agendas of some sort, etc. And you don't. And it's hard for them to realize that or to see that because of these preconceived beliefs or ideas they have about you. Okay? That for, for some of y'all, that's 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 the um people who are just some average people. They think that you're a puppet. Okay. It's because what you're what you're trying to do for them, they don't have no faith. Okay? They've already come to the conclusion that there's nothing better, that people don't really care for them, that people like you don't really um aren't real, aren't legit, aren't true, whatever the case may be. And for some of y'all, it could be these unrealistic ideas or beliefs that they have about you is why they could have tried to do this to you or could have tried to act this way with you or could have tried to get you to self-sabotage or, or make your community hate you or whatever. It's because they're not they're not being told the truth or they're not looking at reality for what it really is or they don't have like it's something wrong with this person or these people. It's like they downplay your greatness in their mind 
So it doesn't allow them to see who you really are or what you really are or how you really are. It's like just because you say things other than what they want you to say or because you have other goals, dreams, etc. that you have, they just automatically think that they're like you're you're fake. You're an agent or something wrong with you. Or again, they know it ain't nothing wrong with you. They know you're legit, but they just don't agree with where you're where you're coming from. They just don't like your views, your opinions, your thoughts and beliefs, even if they're correct. So they, they act this way with you. They don't like you being your authentic self because they built up some sort of idea about you. Like I said, they might build you up in their mind as their enemy or as um, fake, fraudulent, phony. So when you start to be more real and true and act out of these godlike, go goddess-like energies and powers that you have, they can't believe it. They think it's fake. They think you're you're fronting, you're lying, or or there's some kind of like scheme or scam going on. It's like these people have dealt with individuals doing them wrong for so long that they don't know how to appreciate when somebody is doing them right. They either think that automatically is too good to be true or that you're you're trying to scheme them, scam them, trick them or something like that. It's their idea of, their, to, of what you are or what people like you are, who you are or what you do. They got it wrong. And it's like until they realize what the truth is, they're not going to see reality for what it really is. And so with you... They, some of y'all, they may have realized that you're not their enemy. You're not against them. That something that happened actually is real. It actually is legit. It actually is true. Maybe the reasons why you think the ways that you do or see things the way you do is because you possibly have some sort of other advanced universal knowledge that these people may not have. Or you have some sort of perspectives or ideas about something that these other people may not have. Or you may can see things that they can't see. Or you may can sense things that they don't sense. You may be divinely protected or whatever the case may be. And so some of y'all, these individuals they're re or this person, they realized that they were wrong, like I said, for how they treated you or how they judged you. And they're thinking that it's too late for some of them because they realize that you ain't for the bullshit anymore. You ain't about to just let people keep talking to you crazy or doing you crazy or assuming that you're fucking fraudulent, that you're a puppet, that you're dumb, you're stupid. And it's crazy because it's like, then they expect people, they, they expect the people that they treat like shit, they talk shit about, they assume that they're puppets, they're dumb, they're, they're or they're fraudulent, they're phony or whatever. They, and then they expect them to still be on their side and care about them and want to be involved with them and want to look out for them. Maybe even want to risk their life for them. Like, why would somebody even give a fuck about somebody when they when they obviously don't want... They refuse to admit or see what the truth is. And then they want to cry and complain because don't nobody help them or don't nobody look out for them. They don't know how to be helped. They don't know how to be loved. They don't know how to recognize real when it's there. Because they ain't never experienced real. Or they they, they, they don't experience it that often. You may have the divine blueprints to something or you have some sort of divine. Now I'm telling you, you have some sort of divine knowledge, wisdom or something like that. There's somebody else in this situation who sees you in all of the greatness that you are and they really value it. They love it. They love that part of you. Even if sometimes you may say things that they don't like, even if sometimes you may do things that they may not like. They still value you and they know that you're the type of person where you're not about to just be making choices and decisions based off of some nonsense, some stupidity or some naivety. And it's like they assume that all these other individuals assume that either you're naive, you're dumb or you're you're some sort of puppet or you're some sort like it's crazy how 
And these motherfuckers don't even know half the shit that you know is what's crazy. These people, they don't know half the stuff that you know. They haven't seen half the stuff that you haven't seen, that you have seen. They haven't experienced half the things you've experienced. But they just assume that their raggedy ass knowledge is just so higher than yours. That you're just so naive, you're just so dumb, or you're a puppet or or fake or phony or whatever. It's crazy, y'all. It'd be real cra it'd be real crazy. They, they let their own imagination get the best of them. And that's sad. That's really sad. Yeah. The ignorance and love. They're ignorance of what they, they are ignorant to what true love is. Because maybe they've been let down so much or whatever the case may be. And others of you, this person is, fu they're, they're, they're just, there's something wrong with them. Okay, they have some sort of unrealistic expectations of you or some real unrealistic ideas about you or they were lied to about you or they were told that you were their enemy when you weren't or something like that. And that's why they came at you or they were told that like people like you are their enemy and they believe that shit. Let them keep believing that nonsense. You keep moving towards the people who really support you, who really love you, who really care for you, who really value you. Someone may show you how much they love you, okay? Um, for some of y'all, what I see here, what this was, is somebody was trying to get you to waste your spiritual gifts, your magical gifts and powers on arguing with them or debating with them or trying to beg them to value you or to appreciate you or whatever the fuck. And you moved on. You ain't wasted your, your precious time trying to battle somebody who can't see what the fuck is really good. And they're they're like, dang. You know, now they're trying to figure out another way to come at you or to get you to, or they, they're, they might just put their guards down and realize they're going to have to come correct with you because whatever the fuck other shit they was doing ain't right. You're not their enemy. Okay. And they don't want to be your enemy. So you are focused on improving your life, making your life better, doing the things that you know are going to help you. They're going to improve you. Okay. One of those things are is being your true self, expressing your true thoughts and opinions, right? Not, not allowing people who want to keep you trapped in a box or who want to keep you stuck on stupid or who want to treat you like you're naive, dumb, etc., or who can't think larger or bigger than their small ass pea brain mind can. You're not allowing them to mess up the good that you got going on. You may be an ascended master of some sort, or you could be in contact with ascended masters. Um, somebody, you may be disgusted with this individual because of like you're seeing their true colors. You're seeing who they really are or what they're really about. They could feel disgusted with the ways that they treated you or how they acted with you or what they did to you. Okay, if they wished harm on you, if they wished bad on you, if they wished negative to happen to you, they are regretting that they did that. Okay, because it looks like they could be dealing with whatever it is that they could have wished on to you. There's something that's definitely miraculous that is happening in a situation. Okay. Yeah. So you're being told you ain't got to explain nothing to no motherfucking body. If they can't see what it is, you ain't got to go above and beyond trying to uh, get them to see some shit that they should be able to see. Because some of them, they just stuck on stupid. They want to stay stuck. Even when reality is showing them what the truth is. And some of y'all, this could have caused you to reevaluate what your purpose is in life. Yeah, they're being devious. Somebody is real devious. They ain't even being their true self. They want to come at you talk about something. You ain't being your true self or you ain't being real or you ain't being legit or you're fake, you're phony or whatever. And they ain't even being their true self. They may be lying their damn self. Scheming, scamming, all kind of stuff. And so you refuse to allow this person to uh, make you doubt yourself or to make you feel stupid, dumb, etc. And you know that 
no one can make you feel bad unless you let them make you feel bad. And that's what this person was hoping that you went and cried in a corner or something or started doubting yourself or shut the fuck up and stop saying what you were saying because of the power that you have, the power that you hold. You know how powerful you are. Like I said, somebody tried to wear some sort of spell work on you or some sort of magic on you. It fucking failed. It failed. Because you're pure and untainted. You're pure of heart. You're generous. You're kind. You're loving. You care for people. You're legit. But they think because of the realm that you're in that you can't possibly be a good person. Or if you've done some things in your past that you may regret or that you may, you know, have had to do because, heck, you might not be able to continue to help other people or look out for other people if you hadn't have done that, you know? And say so they, they got the wrong idea about you. But I see that you're feeling healthy. You're feeling strong. All right? Um, don't let nobody talk you out of your secrets that you don't want them to know about. Okay. Cause somebody could be trying to talk you out of some sort of secrets of some sort or trying to get you to express some something, or they think that that's what they're going to do by acting this way with you, that they going to catch you up or they going to uh, see how I got you type of thing. Like, yo, get the man. Anyway, they are being led by the least intelligent individuals, the least noble individuals and the least visionary these other whoever these other individuals are whatever these rules and regulations and boundaries like whatever they trying to put put on you is nonsense that's why the fuck your ancestors ain't going for it okay uh anyway yeah so your allies you know who your real and true allies are who's really for you who's not really for you those who aren't for you have proven themselves, have shown you what the fuck is up. Others that are for you have shown you what's up. And now you know who to continue to invest in, who to pour more into, who to look out for, who to um, um, really be there for, and who's a fucking waste of your time. And with that being said, y'all, I love y'all. Wish y'all the best with this situation. And I will see you soon.